Hey, this is a series where you'll learn everything you need to know about the Roblox game A Bizarre Day, from origin history to combos and matchups. <laughs> this time we'll be going over KQBTD, also known as Killer Queen Bites the Dust. <laughs> All info in the video came from the ABD wiki for combo inspiration, participating in 1v1s, spectating 1v1s, the ABD Discord, and the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Phantom Wiki. Without further ado, let's start so that you can prove to others that fate is truly on your side. Yoshikage Kira is the stand user of Killer Queen, a powerful stand that can turn anything it touches into a bomb. Once it touches something, it can detonate it by pressing its right thumb on its index finger. When someone is blown up, everything on them and the target is incinerated from the explosion as if they never existed. It is possible that one can survive a bomb if the explosion came from a nearby object and was not planted on the target. It is still rare to survive the explosion though. Killer Queen also has another type of bomb known as Sheer Heart Attack, and can also create virtually invisible air bubble bombs as projectiles. Killer Queen also has another ability, Bites the Dust, which appears as a miniature form of Killer Queen that hides whoever it is planted in. Anyways, on to the next section. The stand's moveset is really scary. Not only does it have good close ranged moves, its ranged moves are also really good as well. Which brings us to our next section. This stand has a lot of strengths, some of which include its entire moveset is based off of bombs, which bypasses block and if you manage to place the bomb before a counter, Epta, or Love Train is activated, well... <laughs> Which brings us to our next point. The stand has really good combos because of the bombs, and the amount of damage bombs do is pretty crazy. Bombs ragdoll you for approximately 2 seconds, and this makes it really easy for other moves to connect if your opponent doesn't have stand jump. Here's an example. You can also place bombs on pretty much anything in game. This is really useful for when you can't hit someone with a bomb for some reason or if they're chasing you. The AoE on bombs are ridiculous and Killer Queen also has a good defense and block. Of course, there are a few weaknesses of this stand that I'll go over right now. Number one, it really struggles against stands that are fast and have good mobility and ones with lots of ragdoll moves. Because if you get ragdolled in the middle of your bomb placement animation, like in this clip, it is near impossible to place a bomb. Besides that, a lot of the moves on this stand have a decently long cooldown. Whoosh, next section. You can get Killer Queen Bites the Dust by first using a stand arrow which spawns every minute with a 33% chance of getting Killer Queen. Then use a Requiem arrow on Killer Queen to get Killer Queen's Bites to Dust. Requiem arrows spawn every 37.5 minutes with a 25% chance or a 0.75% chance from a trap. As for combos, these were some of the combos I used in my 1v1s that I found were the best and worked well in 1v1s, for me at least. I'll go over one easy, medium, and hard combo. You don't have to use these combos exactly, I would be really happy if you modified them accordingly and maybe even told me some of your own combos in the comment section. Unfortunately, not a lot of people allow F or Bites the Dust, so I won't be including any combos with it. The reason I included this vague combo is because R has a really low cooldown and the ragdoll from Bomb pretty much works with the any move on your moveset, except for T. Unless you already had T active beforehand and now it's in range. Speaking of which, T is a bomb that follows your opponent non-stop, so activating it at the start of the match places pressure on your opponent and forces them to move. Before I explain this combo, make sure to activate your bomb after each move because you can't stack placeable bombs. This combo is of medium difficulty because it can be difficult to land Y and connect the combo. But even if you miss your projectile or Y, H has such good range for a close range move that it really doesn't matter and you can just start the combo without even doing Y, just start with H. The T at the end is preferably for when you already activated it and you detonate it at the end of the combo. This combo will be really difficult to pull off because of cooldowns and 1v1s and they can also stand up away, which is why it's in the hard category. The T as I said before, preferably have it on the detonation phase and the barrage at the end is completely optional. Honestly, you can rearrange this combo any way you want for the most part. One extra thing I would like to point out is that in the past, you used to be able to block or barrage with a bomb placed on you and not get ragdolled when it exploded. But now that the bombs deal AOE damage, blocking really doesn't do anything. 
And this is huge because ragdolls are essentially what makes all of the combos on this stand work. And now bombs have a 100% chance of ragdolling the opponent. This means my plans of putting block to not get ragdolled from the bomb in the countering section is now gone. So how do you counter this stand? Here are just a few things I found that can help you counter this stand. As I said before, having speed and multiple ragdoll moves are always helpful against this stand since if Killer Queen gets launched or ragdolled in the bomb planting animation, it makes it almost impossible to plant the bomb. And also, you can stand jump out of most combos, you will take quite a bit of damage at first though. Just keep in mind that the hitbox on H for Killer Queen is so abnormally large that doing a ragdoll move usually isn't even enough to stop the attack. Which brings us to our next point. Watch out for their projectile, and if you outclass them in projectiles, then use them when necessary since Killer Queen is a mostly close range stand. And last but not least, having a little extra health or good durability is always helpful, especially for tanking Killer Queen bombs, because these bombs hurt. I'll go over a few matchups now and talk about how you can have a better chance at winning them. Of course, when talking about these matchups, I will not include time stop beatdowns, etc. Normally I would choose between either the World Over Heaven or SPOH, but they're both essentially the same stand with the only major difference being the World version has a projectile and Star Platinum has a more damaging barrage. Obviously watch out for knives from the World Over Heaven. These Things are super scary, and they deal more damage the less HP they have. And also, make sure to block when necessary. The difference between blocking and not blocking an over heaven barrage is insane. If you can, try to keep your distance and land your projectile since the projectile has a long cooldown. If it misses, I would recommend maybe going for H, or if you can sacrifice some HP, maybe go for R. One bomb can create an entire combo for you as long as they don't stand jump out of it. Play smart and react to your opponents, and you will generally do relatively well against your everyday over heaven. The stand can be really terrifying. Not only does it have a good block healing, a really good stun move, but its close range moves deal some of the best DPS in the game. However, if you know what you are doing, you can beat the stand with Killer Queen. First off, the obvious thing that I say oh so many times, if the Gold Experience Requiem uses F or Return to Zero, stand jump away or block. Blocking negates so much damage with Killer Queen. Bomb combos also work especially well against Gold Experience Requiem, and they do too much damage for Gold Experience Requiem to heal back. And your H also just barely outranges Gold Experience Requiem Barrage. The spec is especially dangerous to you. Not only does it have multiple fast ragdoll moves and incredible damage plus combos, if the cars plays very aggressive, it will be very, very difficult to play against since Killer Queen is pretty difficult to use if you're under constant pressure. In my opinion, this matchup is definitely not in your favor, especially if the cards user is skilled. You'll either want to time your moves like H correctly, or use your surroundings like bushes or benches and plant bombs there and explode them when they are at range. Do your best, since this matchup can be really scary. Also, note. Like I said in the beginning, this is a beginner's guide for how to use Encounter Killer Queen Bites the Dust. To find out more, you should definitely do research yourself and do 1v1s. The ABD community is usually nice enough to do 1v1s, and they can also help you in their Discord server in the Stand Strategies channel. That was how to use Encounter, and now with some practice, you can finally show others that fate is truly on your side.